My name is Lindsay Whitehurst. I am a criminal justice reporter for the Associated Press here in Washington, D.C. Hunter Biden has been charged with nine new tax counts in California. This comes in addition to a gun case that's been filed against him in Delaware in a special counsel investigation. Both of these cases, which could bring prison time if he's convicted, are going to unfold as his father is campaigning for re-election in 2024. The charges come after the implosion of a plea deal that could have largely ended the case against Hunter Biden. That agreement with prosecutors would have required him to plead guilty to misdemeanor tax counts. This new indictment, which includes both felonies and misdemeanors, covers some of the same conduct, but an expanded time frame and includes much more detail about his extravagant spending habits, which, according to prosecutors, included money spent on luxury cars, escorts, drugs, all while he was allegedly failing to pay his taxes. Defense attorneys, for their part, have accused prosecutors of bowing to political pressure in the case and said that if Hunter Biden's last name wasn't what it was, he wouldn't be facing these charges. These new criminal tax charges against Hunter Biden are part of a special counsel investigation through the Justice Department. Even as that case is unfolding, a separate congressional investigation led by House Republicans is attempting to link President Joe Biden to his son Hunter's business dealings. No evidence has emerged so far to prove that Joe Biden, in his current or previous office, abused his role or accepted bribes, though questions have arisen about the ethics surrounding the Biden family's international business.